Hi guys, and welcome to the Gaming Vault. Here is another classic game review. Okay, so today's game is Demolition Racer for the PlayStation 1 by Midway. It's essentially a um, Destruction Derby clone. Um, it's, this, it's the same kind of uh, wrecking racing style game. Um, so the objective, um, this is on the main mode. There are several modes that you can do. But the main one, um, you you can win. You don't win purely by racing. You have to cause as much carnage as possible um, at the same time. Um, and you get points for, you know, it's a wall like smashing an enemy into a wall, or kill car gives you 50 points. That's when you finish off um, a damaged enemy car. So I find um, on career mode where um, you have to. Um, use this kind of uh, racing um, your your score basically your score is accumulated at the end as a mixture of where you finish and how much c carnage you've caused so what I do usually is I'll drop back in the first few laps um, so I'm in the pack so it's easy for me to just take out a lot of people um, uh, take out a lot of cars AI and uh, then um, come forward in the last lap try and get a top five place and that usually will do the trick um, Although it's, you know it does get harder, there is a sort of a, a gentle uh, learning curve, I suppose. Um, okay, so the the visuals for this game are not really anything special, even by PlayStation One standards. They're you know they're functional, but they're nothing um, particularly spectacular. Um, so yeah, it does have several modes. Um, there is also a uh, arena mode just like on um, demolition derby um, you, can, you know you have to try and uh, finish last uh, out of all uh, be the last man standing basically um, there's some other kind of creative road uh, modes like one way you're going uh, around the track in reverse while the uh, AI are heading in the other direction which is uh, kind of interesting but I didn't particularly enjoy it after uh, one or two goes um, but uh, you know kudos for them for, tr for trying different things uh, yeah the racing style of the game is uh, very very much arcadey I suppose uh, there's not much realism uh, involved in the car physics um, they they don't handle very nicely. They're very um, I don't know. There's just there's there's not much enjoyment. Um, you could, you you don't get a sense of any of the uh, the terrain you're on. You're on rough ground, which where you should kind of the car should kind of um, you know um, slide and accelerate through some ruts and things. But you don't know. It's not like that. Um, you know, even uh, hitting the side of the uh, track doesn't really slow your momentum so you don't have to be the best driver in the world to be honest he literally uh, if you go over a jump you uh, uh, time it right you can smash an AI and if you come down on him at the right point you get a death from above and it's 500 points Wow <laughs> and also um, that opponent's car is instantly destroyed uh, there is also a good split-screen mode uh, uh, one of the things that I thought would have just made the game that little bit more addictive, I suppose, is on the career mode, if the enemy AI had a bit more characterization, all their characters are is names. They have um, a list of names like uh, Don or Jack or Bill or whatever. Um, yeah, that's, uh, you know, they missed, they missed a bit of a trick there because I thought Destruction Derby was always more interesting because it had a... Uh, you had uh, little profiles of some of the characters, um, you know, even uh, rendering them outside the car with the storyline would have been even better, but I guess, uh, you know, this game was <laughs> fairly budget. Um, but yeah, for what it is, you know, just a fairly cheap budget PlayStation 1 game um, from probably the late, the latter era of the PlayStation 1, uh, it's really pretty good. Um, if uh, you like a uh, you know destruction derby um, uh, and uh, there's you know there hasn't been much since uh, at that level this this game's not far off I would say um, so yeah um, I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten 
I uh, probably wouldn't get that score today, but we're look we're thinking of the time period here. Anyway, um, I'm out, guys. Cheers.